though it's a bright beautiful day I'm outside and um, that we've gotten school done for the most part today and I have been every 15 minutes coming outside to water my trees um, I, I let a hose slow drip on them for 15 minutes and um, then I move it to another tree and so you can see Bambi behind me uh, the cows are out here enjoying the shade and um, schlepping hoses all over the place I have not watered these maple trees all summer long and they have done fine now granted they are not they're not growing a huge amount by any stretch of the imagination but these are all maple trees that also I started from seed and planted last winter and for them just to have survived um, the summer without any water I'm very impressed and I shouldn't say any water but without any additional water other than the rain that they've gotten um, even my orchard we've watered a little bit this summer and um, I decided some of these maple trees are really looking like they need some water oh, some of their leaves are turning black and um, and dying and so I I'm really schlepping hoses to get them watered So there's Bambi, she's our Guernsey. Um, she was the first cow that we got along with Hershey. I don't know that you can really see him, but he's sitting back there on the ground in the grass. He's a, a black cow, but she was um, like a surrogate for him. And then here we have, I believe this is uh, Summer. She's one of our newer calves that was born um, I guess last fall my goodness and then over here the smaller calf is ginger she was born last summer so she's about a year old now this is rebecca and um yes i have a cow that shares my name <laughs> she was already named when we bought her and it was just kind of ironic that we ended up with a cow that had my name we also ended up with one who had the same name as our oldest son, Ryan. Um, we, he was still a calf, so we ended up changing his name. Um, so we have a total of, let's see, Rebecca who what? had a calf hook. No, 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 she had a calf, Missy, and then she had Summer. And Sophie, we bought with her calf, whose first name was originally Ryan. And then she had a calf na that we named Ginger. And so that's Rebecca, one, two, Mama, Sophie, you, one, two, you. so that's six. Mama, and then Hershey you. and um, Mama, Guernsey, uh, Guernsey. <laughs> Bambi are Guernsey. Um, so we have a total of eight. And we're thinking that, yes, some of these are, um, pregnant. are pregnant also again. And we'll be expecting them to calve sometime not too far down the road. What are you doing? I'm doing go around on it while trying to make your face down. Okay, have y'all both done, finished your school? I'm on the cast. Have you, Damien? No. Okay, I'm then just, you go back in there. I'm trying to make him say sorry. Okay, you don't need to worry about making him say sorry right now. I'll take care of that. Damien, go back inside and finish your school. Okay, Dominic. Damien. So the cows are enjoying this pasture that we got them moved to yesterday. And in a couple of days we'll be moving the chickens down there and putting them onto um, the pasture up this way that the cows were on before that. All right, there's my tree and my hose going, so I gotta adjust that. There we go. I gotta trickle down there at the base of the tree. Leave that on for about 15 minutes. Gotten a lot of watering done and um, I'm getting ready to take some vinegar to our fire pit over here that we have put in. We did a lot of hard work getting all this put in and we don't want to lose the gravel space to the weeds now so um 
you can see that it's encroached a little bit and I'm going to, I, I haven't tried the vinegar before and it's not exactly completely the heat of the day anymore. It's after five um, and the stuff is already in the shade, but I figure I'm gonna do it a little bit and I might come back out and do it again tomorrow. Um, but I really want to get this under control. I've already filled up my sprayer. I use cleaning vinegar this time uh, just because it's 6% vinegar instead of the regular 5%. Um, haven't invested in horticultural vinegar in quite a while uh, because it's expensive and not easily available. But um, I'm gonna give this a try and just, we'll see how it goes. So you can see here where the grass has encroached into the fire pit area. So I'm gonna spray that with some 6% cleaning vinegar and kill it and hopefully kill it at least and hopefully we won't have to do it anymore. It's almost six o'clock and I'm uh, finally taking a minute to just sit down and enjoy the shade and the little bit of breeze that we've had um, pretty much all afternoon, I think. I came out here right around noon after I had dedicated uh, most of the morning to homeschooling and uh, just started watering trees 15 minutes at a time. Going back in, doing a little more school. Going back out after my 15 minute alarm. Moving the, <laughs> moving the hose. Doing a little, going back in and doing a little bit more school, et cetera, et cetera. And now I'm just taking a moment to just appreciate what I have. Listen to the sound of the cows munching their grass, chewing their cud. I'm sure a cat will come up here and join me in a little bit as they usually do and figure out what in the world I'm gonna make for dinner now that it's almost six o'clock. Probably smoothies again, but that sounds awfully good on a rather warm uh, September day. A smoothie sounds absolutely delicious. <sighs> we'll see you later.